Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359. Welcome back to Let's Play Escape 3. Last time, took care of two more levels. And while I was off screen, I was grinding for gacha coins and just buying some things. Once the RC card becomes available, you can start buying new ones in the hobby shop. So I bought one because only one is available right now. And as you can see, we have the normal chassis. Chassis for normal performance, Kay's favorite. And another normal chassis, Yumi's favorite. This is the one that you would get if you had chosen Yumi, and then you could buy this one, vice versa, and everything. So, I also bought a bunch of the Mon Fictions and everything and cleaned out the shop as much as I could. I could have bought more Morph Gauges, but I don't really use Morph Forms. Kind of funny, given to where we're going, we're going to get probably the most broken form in the entire game. So, explain to us, Aki! Hey, hang on a sec. I'm entering new morph data into the morph gear. This morph goes by the name of Miracle Ninja. It specializes in some very tricky moves, and it's fleet of foot as well. Master the art of the ninja in the training room. So, let's go to the training room for the most broken form in Ape Escape 3. Oh boy. So, as you can see, we're a ninja! Yay! So, what makes this form broken? Well, as you can see, we have normal stun club attack. Well, if you spin it... Yeah! And these guys attack too. But the Miracle Ninja, what he can do is he can walk on ropes like this. If you double jump, he will get a little hang glider. And parkour, parkour! Take that, Sonic Boss World. I love that game. It's fun. I recently got it. And what makes it even more broken is how it catches monkeys. They home in. Ichigo ya. Taiko mo. Taiko and Daikan. So, yeah. Very broken form. It's probably the most broken form in the game. Probably at some point I, uh, earlier I put in uh, what Yumi's Miracle Ninja form is. Very hard to find. So, yes, this is what makes... A lot of bosses for doing the time trial really easy. And the boss that we're going to be fighting after this normally, you have to use Miracle Ninja actually in order to get to the boss. So this is actually one of the bosses that requires you to use a form. And this is just teaching you about the double jump if you just hold the R1 button or technically uh, the R2 button since both of them jump in this game. So now we're going to go to... I forget what the stage is called, but we've got 14 little monkeys to catch. There will be a boss right after this, so same thing as always. Going to cut the episode, going to show the Yumi cutscene, etc. And we have new Teleborgs. Ninja! This is a fun stage, actually. This is one of my more favorite ones. It's actually a pretty long stage. Longer than the... Uh, longer than the ones we had in Ape Escape 2. That was sort of ninja-themed, although I think it was otherwise. So as you can see... This place really wants you to use Miracle Ninja. So, parkour, parkour! Just run along the wall and just jump and you'll do fine. Watch this. If you get these guys out, then they home in. Take that, Masan. This form is so broken. It's so bad. I'm... After this one, unless I need to use it to get along uh, some walls or something, then I'm not going to be using this because, believe me, I don't like using forms that much. I like the forms in the game. They're just a bit too unbalanced is all I'm saying. Uh, uh, I really would love if I had um, the last gadget that we're going to get. It's another returning gadget. that I think you guys can guess at what it's going to be. So... Uh, where's the other teleport? Yes, right. Look at how much they want us to use Miracle Ninja here. I think Miracle Ninja probably, out of all of them, becomes the most used form. Not just because it's broken and a lot of people like to use it, but because there's a lot of puzzles that actually require you to use Miracle Ninja. In fact, the, there's only one more that I can think of that actually uses a lot. And pretty much, like, the Wild West kid and everything, they don't really have use. They're just cosmetic, if anything. There we go. Monipo. So yeah, like I said, broken. So broken. Uh, the only thing is, 
that because it's so broken, you have to keep using the form so many times. That's why I have at least two more gauges. And let's get more time here. There we go. And let's kill the teleport. And the best part is they can actually take hits too, and they don't die. The little uh, robots that are on the side. Oh, <laughs> God. I think I already know what I'm going to say. Let's parkour, parkour! I've actually been playing a lot of Sonic Lost World. I have both the 3DS and the Wii U version. Uh, Afro Battler is actually doing an LP of the game right now. Uh, you could also go pretty fast, actually, with uh, the Miracle Ninja. I, as you can see, we're keeping up with this blue pan monkey pretty well. Yoshio. That is not the uh, Japanese name because there is no C. Why did I try to catch the Hulk? Break him! And in you go. Fatty McFats. Take that, Fatty. All right. So, I've been playing a lot of Sonic Lost World. I have the Wii U version and the 3DS version. It's a lot of fun. Not, like, the best game ever, but still worth getting, especially for the 3DS version. So, actually, the Afro Battler is currently LPing the game right now. He's doing one for Game Anyone. He's going to be doing one for YouTube as well. And he's also doing Rystar, I believe he started up now. I know that Link's Paradox also just started up Dust. Which I've actually been meaning to play as well, because I've seen things about it, and it actually looks interesting. Who are you? Kikimaru. Uh, spins pottery wheels too fast. Eh. I've never even spun a pottery wheel before. Throw bombs! And into the net! Take that, Kikimaru. Uh, more parkour, parkour. Parkour! Alright, and we got... This. I'm always typecast as a pushover enemy. <laughs> nice. So there we go. That's another Simeon Cinema for us. I suppose you can make it less broken if you don't summon the other little robots, but really with Miracle Ninja, if you're going to go out full broken and go for Miracle Ninja, then you might as well just go full broken. This stage requires a lot of support, actually. Normally... That'd be the case, because you could see how in uh, Saruman's castle we had to use the, um, how we had to use the uh, Fantasy Knight form a lot, but we actually didn't. Okay, this looks weird, because they climbed the poles too. That, that's just always weird. Ah, I guess you don't lose your form when you're on a pole. That is weird. I didn't know that. Oh, God. Who are a green pant monkey? Uh, not taking chances with you. Gonna go full broken here. Oh, God. Nope! Uziko and... Get the broken monkey! Broken form for broken monkey. Uh, I can't see with the camera. Oh, wow. I want to try and see if I, if I can get him from afar, because I can't really see that well. Oh, wow, they actually see this. Oh, God, it looks like I'm going to have to actually... Oh, barely missed. Oh, boy. I need to get this monkey. There we go. GP. <laughs> what kind of ninja name's GP? What does it stand for? Oh, well. Uh, I forgot what I was talking about before. Crud. Yeah, it's already started again. All right, so let's go up here. Where we get to use more mirror. All right, now I remember. When it came to the Fantasy Knight, you could have used it if you wanted to, but I showed that you did not need it. And with uh, Wild West Kid, that's probably one of the more useless forms. But Miracle Ninja, you actually need in order to get through a lot of these puzzles. That's a teleport, okay. Uh, there should be a couple of monkeys around here, and there should be a tightrope. Here. Babuzo. So, uh, here's one right here that you have to use um, Miracle Ninja to get to. Hi there. I don't believe you change out of your form if you are on a tightrope. I could be wrong. I don't know for sure, though. Uh, they're giving you time on purpose here because they know. And there's another uh, monkey right there, actually. You 
could see it. Oh, I don't think I'm going to make this. I didn't make it. Right. All right. So let's go back up. So you saw the other one that was over this way. So we're going to have to use Miracle Ninja again. I don't know what to title this. Do I just title it OP Nerf or do I title it um, Parkour Parkour? This should not still be flying. But we only have one monkey left, and I believe the remaining monkeys are actually really close. Wow, I actually wasn't supposed to do that, but that's beside the point. Now, here's one right here. Oh, the mermon. Oh, hey, I know what they're doing for this. They're doing the koi fish on the top of the castle. I didn't realize. All right, let's... Here we go. And... I'm actually curious. What's your name? Fishy feet. Afraid he's over the hill. Huh. Well, monkey... Let's end off this episode with Monkey! Alright! All right. So, anyway, guys, gonna end it off right here. This is Roxas1359. See you for the next episode, which is a boss. It's a fun one that everyone knows. You really got quite a workout there.